Glendale Amateur Boxing Fitness Club was established from an idea from David Milburn, our head boxing coach, who got members of the community together. Um, he was travelling many miles each week back and forth to other boxing clubs with young people from Woola and decided there was enough interest to set up a club here. As part of the club as well, we want to cater for everybody. There are people who want to come along, very much like myself. I go along to train and to keep fit and to try and stay healthy. The club was established to um, take place at Glendale Community Middle School, where the head teacher, Mike Dean Hall, has been really, really good with us. It's important to have two elements to the club as boxing and fitness because different people want to do different things. People really want to be part of it and want to help with it if they're involved in the running of it and fundraising and all the various aspects of the club. There's a real friendship group there and people have got to know each other that maybe didn't before, which is great within a small community like this. I think that the club is good for the community um, because it does help the community. We're just a small, a small town nestled in the, in the foothills of the Cheviots with plenty of outlying farms, so that not only do we get the people from the village itself, but we also have all the outlying farms which do come in, which helps the kids that out of the, the community to come in and, be, and feel part of the community. From a parent's point of view, I think the club is really good for the community. It's somewhere that you, you, I can go to the exercise class and know fine well that Brooks safe around the other side and they're quite willing to accommodate the extra 15 minutes if our class runs over and keep an eye on her till I can get there to get her. Um, everybody's so friendly. The Boxing Fitness Club is very important to Wooler because in a small place like this there's not usually that much on. It's, you're very limited with what you can do as opposed to if you were in a town. So um, the fact that we're offering two different kinds of activities and also it opens the door to males, females, family groups, you know, siblings, people, mothers and their kids, that kind of thing. It's, uh, it's a really wide ranging opportunity for people in the village. The success of the club has actually been recognised recently. We were nominated by Northumberland Sport for um, quite a prestigious um, award and I believe that we're the first Northumberland club ever to win the Sport England um, regional, North East Regional Satellite Club of the Year. So our nomination went in with hundreds of other clubs and I do know full well there's over 9,000 satellite clubs in the UK and nine regions get voted for. We came top in the North East for a club that's just been running 18 months. Um, that is an absolute massive buzz for us. We're looking to do a twinning with uh, a boxing club in Los Angeles um, in the Glendale area of, box of Los Angeles where there is a boxing club as well. Um, so again, plans for the future. If we can get across there, see them and maybe get boxers from them to come to us, us to them and uh, have international recognition as well. Big dream but big plans.